Hi, this is Steve Buckley of the Herald Press Box. This is media day for the 21st annual Abbott Financial Management Old Time Baseball Game, which will be held here at St. Peter's Field Monday night, August 21st at St. Peter's Field. 7 o'clock is the game time. This is being played as a benefit in honor of Pete Frades, the former Boston College baseball captain who has fought like crazy to help find a cure. We're just going to run with that because that's kind of cool. Pete Frady is the former baseball captain at uh, Boston College who has ALS. The game we played as a dual fundraiser for the Pete Frady's number three fund and also for the ALS Therapy Development Institute of Cambridge. Got a lot of people here today. They're all going to talk about Pete Frady's and the upcoming game. Let's get to it. So what's it like um, pitching in this game? Uh, it's it's a lot of fun. I mean, um, it's a great representation of baseball and um, obviously the charities and stuff that it raises a lot of money for and raises awareness for is, uh, is, is a great cause and it's a bonus that we get to come out here and play baseball and have fun with it. You know uh, Pete Frades just from being at Boston College. Uh, what's it been like having him in that dugout the last couple of years? Uh, I mean, he's, he's awesome. I mean, even before his diagnosis, I met him freshman fall. Um, he was one of the first people we met. Um, came and talked to us, and you could just tell he had this um, energy about him and this um, just way about him that you just it was some it was this type of guy that you wanted to be like and you wanted to follow. And uh, ever since that, he's become a role model for so many other people. He was already a role model for us, and we've kind of tried to take him in as our own. And I mean, he gives us so much knowledge and so he knows so much about the game and so much about life and just uh, has been helping us out so much. And it's been great to see kind of lately the charge in ALS research and the awareness for him. Well, I was at the game in spring training, the annual Northeastern Red Sox game. You struck out David Ortiz and Dustin Pedroia? Yep. Yeah, yeah. struck them out back-to-back, -back, first two batters of the game. So what was that all about? How, how many text messages, phone calls after the game that night? Uh, more than I can count. Um, a lot of people I talked to all the time, some people I never haven't heard from in a few years, and I uh, got a lot of phone calls, text messages, stuff on social media. It was a, it was a fun experience. And I know I'm, I'm told you're not going to pitch this year because they've kind of shut you down for the year, but you want to show up and wear the uniform anyway. Absolutely, yeah. I love, play, love being here for this game, whether I'm playing or I'm not. Um, great experience, great atmosphere, and um, just people that are here because they love the game of baseball and, and they want to do something for a great cause. The House of David was a barnstorming team for the 1920s whose players were known to wear beards. And you volunteered to wear this uniform and grow a beard? Yes, I did. Um, we you expand on your answer, please. Okay, so you were you were emceeing. Uh, Steve was emceeing the uh, the, uh, the the inner city league banquet last summer, and I had a little growth. Um, I think I to, to be to be honest, I think I had forgotten to shave that day. Um, so I saw so I saw Buck there after playing in this game game last year. I, that's when that's when I, I like to say you Buck. volunteered. Now you're making it seem like I bullied no, you. No, so <laughs> so uh, so he said, "Hey Nick, I see you got a little uh, facial hair going. Um, we have this new jersey this year." So he took out his phone, showed me a couple uh, photos of the old uh, the old old House of David jerseys and the players, and they had these these long beards and long hair. So I'm um, looking looking forward to playing with the uh, the beard. Grew it out. Grew it, up, grew it out for uh, for next Monday. So, and how's this working for you? It's great. It's great. You know, a little 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 big, staying warm. So, <laughs> nobody I've talked with is surprised that Pete would play the role in the fight to find a cure for ALS as he has. Uh, could you speak to those natural leadership qualities that he's bringing to this? Oh my God, he's been a leader since he could walk and talk. Um, he's been an, a coach, a mentor. Uh, team captain um, almost every step of the way. Um, he just has an inspirational quality about him. I think when you meet Pete, um, you can, even though he can't speak anymore, even people who are just meeting him, you and I obviously are very fortunate. We've known Pete prior to ALS. Um, he um, just plays, uh, has always been that person, and uh, he's been an inspiration to me. Mike Timlin, former Red Sox mm -hmm. pitcher, is flying in from Colorado to play in this game, yeah. and I had nothing to do with it. Uh, what magic did the Frady's family perform to make this happen? Mike Timlin, <clears throat> mother, passed away oh, yeah. from ALS. So we um, reached out to him through the Angel Fund, which uh, supports Dr. Bob Brown at UMass, and asked him if he wanted to be a part of this. I think once a family is touched by ALS, um, 
you, you're you're all in. There's no uh, no dropping back from it. And ALS and baseball just seems to be a natural draw for Mike Timlin. When we talked to Mike on the phone last week, it was I I, I would say Mike, can you do that? And, and I could never get the question out. His answer to every single question we asked was yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's, um, it, it's like that for all families that have been touched by it. Um, you will do anything to help another family that's going through this path. It's, um, it's not one that you would wish on, on anyone. And uh, we have a kindred spirit, everybody who's been through it. One of the <coughs> photographers here today came up to me, one of the still photographers, um, came up to me and said, I just want to thank you. My uncle passed away from ALS. Monday night, August 25th, St. Peter's Field. Oh, I, yeah. I know that you'll be there. Oh, yeah. We'll be there. We'll, we'll bring a couple of people with us like we usually do.